you know, you obviously had like the, the influence of the, you know, the Chicago school. Uh, you, you've had but that only worked for me to a degree after a while, it didn't, it didn't work. And right. I, would go, I would play for these guys and they couldn't help me. And uh, I was like, so it was a little bit limiting, you know, uh, and uh, I was playing at a reasonably high level, but they couldn't, they could, they just had one answer, you know, uh, you know, they had some, interest, some interesting mental and musical concepts, of course, they're fabulous musicians, right. um, but um, I had to seek a different kind of a different path. And, and um, one of the things that we trumpet players or all brass players, we deal with is everybody wants I'll speak for everybody. <laughs> everybody wants to play yeah. higher, louder, faster. Some people even want a better tone, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they hate it when stuff feels different, right? Oh, this is my lucky scar on my lip where I won all state, you know, so my mouthpiece has to go here. And if they don't accept that it's going to feel different, they're never going to sound different. So there's a, there's a, there's going to be a space where things feel like, whoa, kind of out of control. And you have to trust your ears and maybe some trusted, you know, friends and, and be willing to let go of that. You know, the way I used to play, I had a death grip on the horn and it gave me great security, but I had to let go of that to be able to do other things. And so, um, you know, we have to be kind of open-minded, you know, about, uh, doing things differently. Um, and, and the fact that it's going to feel a little bit weird and uncomfortable and unfamiliar, and that's going to allow us to go to the next plateau. Yeah. yeah and, dis and discover the new thing that we need, want to do. Right, right. It, well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's part of human nature. Uh, sure. It's not just the trumpet world, but, you know, it's, it, it, we find ourselves in these little camps. Uh, you know, this is what we know. This is what the people around us know. Um, and, and this is what they believe. And we become very uh, set in our ways and, and very hesitant to accept new concepts, new ideas that might conflict with ours, not thinking about it in the terms of this is a, a an additional approach or this is a, an alternate approach. It's right. a binary, it's it's right or wrong sort of yeah. thing. Right. And, right. You know, I, I just as you you're pulling out these kind of concepts that do somewhat fly in the face of some traditional pedagogical approaches. Um What's been like the the major pushback that you've gotten? I mean, what, what are the what, what are the things that people you know? It, oh, people don't get in my face about it, you know. But it, it's like you you said it very well. But you know, some of the stuff is like received wisdom, right? And we will never argue with what so and so said because he was the great master, and you know, and this is how it must be. And but we as humans. We all perceive things differently. We describe things differently, um, uh, uh, you know, and, you know, so get myself in trouble here, but, you know, trying to learn, that's why you can't learn music out of a book, right? You read the words and, you know, if you tell, if you have a group of 10 high school trumpet players and you say, use more air, they're going to do 10 different things. They're going to, you know. Or, or whatever, you, you tell them they're going to interpret it in their own way and you're going to get different kinds of uh, uh, sounds. So um, uh, the qu questioning, even received wisdom, you know, you must take this kind of breath. Okay, but, you know, you know, or, you know, what I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of fumbling over my words here, but um, uh, and be, being willing to question everything, but trust your ears and listen to, you know, what attracts you, uh, uh, you know, sonically and, uh, and musically. I, I like, I like to cultivate what I consider a sensuous sound, which is to say it's a sound that's beautiful for its own sake. Some singers have this, not everybody, but they sing one note and you go, I'll listen to that person sing the phone book. That's, that tone is so beautiful. And I think we can have that as, as brass players if we pay attention, but it involves a lot of times letting go of some received wisdom or standard pedagogy, Yeah, you know? Yeah. So trusting our ears and, and, you know, what if I try this thing, you know, and, and, uh, and, and not hewing too closely to um, the rules, you know? Yeah. I tell students there's, there's no rules. The only rule really is 
blowing the small end. And I've already said, don't blow. So I, I've already, uh, <laughs> you, you broke <laughs> exactly. it number one. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but after that, everything's up for grabs, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. and we just have to say, this sounds good. And this sounds maybe less good, or you, you be discriminating about that. I don't like that. I want to sound like this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so um, that's kind of where I'm coming from. And because of my sordid past, when students come to me, most, I can usually say, oh, I used to do that. Or there's sound because everything, most of what happens with the trumpet is invisible, right? It's inside. You can, you know, the experienced teacher can go, oh, this is probably happening. And there's some diagnostics you can do. And you say, this is probably what's happening. Um, uh, I used to do that. You might want to try this and it's going to feel like that. And you can kind of set them up for, oh, it's going to feel weird. It's going to be cool. Just, you know, and assure them, you know, and, and then you get the sound and they, and the light goes on and they go, oh, and they, and then you're on the same, then you're talking the same language. And then you, you can say, yeah, I, I, I can say as a teacher, that sounds wonderful. I think you, you, you need to cultivate that. That's going to bring the audience to you. And thus, and then I ask them, what's it feel like? And maybe they came up with a whole different language. You know, they use entirely different words, which gives me more teaching tools and more, you know, ways to think about it. But it's, you know, it, it, it's very cool. Uh, and, and some of the most interesting students I've had are the ones that who have thought the most differently than I did. And, and what to begin with is like talking to a Martian. <laughs> it's yes, like, yes. really? You think about, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's fascinating. 